I also want to send best wishes to a very good friend of mine and a friend to our nation, Prime Minister Boris Johnson. We're very saddened to hear that he was taken into intensive care this afternoon. Americans are all praying for his recovery. He's been a really good friend. British, uh, sorry, President Trump offering support to British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Johnson is in a London hospital's intensive care unit at the moment battling COVID-19. Britain's foreign minister is now overseeing the cabinet. And joining us now is Niall Gardner, former advisor to Lady Thatcher and director of the Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom at the Heritage Founda Foundation. Niall, good morning to you. First, your reaction to what we're learning about Boris Johnson this morning. Well, I think the latest news uh, regarding Boris Johnson's condition is actually uh, quite positive. Uh, we understand that he is not, in fact, on a ventilator. He does not have pneumonia. He is receiving oxygen. Uh, but I think the overall uh, situation with regard to the Prime Minister certainly is looking better this morning than it was last night. Uh, and I think that, uh, you know, this is overall positive uh, news. Uh, regarding uh, Boris Johnson. Uh, and I think the, the Prime Minister really is fighting the, the battle of his life here. Uh, he is someone who is a, a tremendous leader for the British people. He has so much more to give uh, for his country. Uh, and I think that uh, he is continuing to, to fight uh, at, this, at this time. You've heard so many messages of support. How is the country reacting this morning, Niall? Well, the British people are, of course, uniting around the Prime Minister, uh, and, and the British people really have this tremendous uh, warrior uh, spirit about them. Uh, they, they are doing all they can to uh, fight through this virus, and the Prime Minister really uh, is, is seen as a, as a tremendous leader for the British people. So the country is uniting behind uh, Boris Johnson. Uh, he is the man who, of course, delivered uh, Brexit very recently. He recently also won, of course, a resounding election victory. He is a very popular uh, prime minister. Uh, but I think on all sides of the political aisle, uh, the British people are standing with the prime minister uh, and they are standing with his family. Uh, they are standing with, with a prime minister who has dedicated his life to serving uh, the British people. Mm. Uh, and I think the whole country today is, is uniting around the prime minister. What can you tell us about the impact this is going to have on government? Uh, we know that the foreign minister now uh, will be leading uh, Boris Johnson's cabinet while he is in the hospital. Uh, the new leader of the Labour Party is weighing in on how parliament needs to operate moving forward. I'll get your thoughts on the other side. I do think we need to have a way for parliament to operate effectively, whatever the circumstances. And I know that thought is being given to how we could act virtually. Some of the select committees are doing that. Um, but the approach of the opposition is crucial in this. Um, and as I say, we will be constructive, challenge where we need to challenge, but support the government where we can. What do you make of that suggestion now that Parliament needs to operate virtually going forward? Well, I think there's a lot of debate about uh, when exactly Parliament will be back in, back in place. But I think the... You know, the, the government is continuing to function with full force. Uh, Dominic Raab, the, the foreign secretary, is now, in effect, uh, running the, the country on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis uh, while the prime minister is in hospital. Uh, and I think that certainly, of course, parliament has a hugely important role to, uh, to play. It's not certain when exactly parliament is going to return. Uh, you just heard there from Keir Starmer, the new leader of the Labour Party, who replaced uh, Jeremy Corbyn. It's important, I think, that the Labour Party gets behind uh, the government and the prime minister, uniting with, with the government in order to ensure that everything possible is done uh, to ensure that the virus is, is defeated. That is the top priority. Uh, and I think certainly, I mean, Keir Starmer, the new Labour Party leader, has been, uh, I think, uh, voicing strong support for the Prime Minister at, at this time. I hope that the Labour Party will work together with the government. We, we do not need a political division at, at this moment. Uh, but I think the, you know, the British government is in very good, is in very good hands. Uh, I think that uh, Dominic Raab certainly will do a very uh, good job deputising for, for the Prime Minister at this, at this time. But certainly the, the British people are facing the, the biggest crisis they've faced since World War II. And as the Queen uh, said in her magnificent speech on Sunday, this is a moment for 
the British people to unite together as, as one nation, standing together in the face of this crisis. Uh, and she gave a tremendous message of, of hope and optimism. And I think the, the British uh, warrior spirit will, will prevail. And I'm sure the prime minister will be back uh, with us soon at, at the helm. Uh, he is someone who has has fought numerous battles uh, throughout his life. Yeah. Uh, I think he's he's certainly fighting the battle of his life today, and I think he will be uh, victorious. He is, and it's great to hear that he's uh, at least in good spirits this morning, and I'm sure we'll get an update as the day goes on. Niall Gardner, great to have you here this morning. Thank you, and be well. Thank you very much, Sandra.